Hi, Barry Rogers here, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create an exit splash on any page that you want using this software. Now, before I do that, I just want to show you exactly what the end result will look like so you know what you're going to achieve by putting this on your page. And it behaves differently in different browsers. So let's take a look in three different browsers to show you exactly what will happen. First of all, uh, Firefox is one of the more popular browsers these days. So let's have a look at what happens there. This is a sales page of mine. It has an exit pop on it. So if we go and close out the page, let's see what happens in Firefox. Well, you get this kind of generic uh, message and a choice to leave or stay on the page. But the good thing is here, though you can't put your own call to action here, the page is loading up behind. So people can see what they're going to get if they choose to stay on the page. Okay, so that's kind of powerful. So even though we can't put a call to action on the exit splash with Firefox, we do, the, the person does see what they're going to get just behind there. Okay, so we're going to, I'll click stay on the page, so we'll stay there, okay? Um, now let's have a look in Chrome. Chrome handles it slightly differently. If we close out of this in Chrome, we get our message. Now we can change the text in here in the software. Okay, so we get our own call to action. So we can say what we're going to give them. But Chrome doesn't load the page in the background. If we click to stay on the page, it loads it straight away, but it won't preload it. Okay, so uh, Internet Explorer, not so many people use that these days, but this is the best of both worlds because if I close out from Internet Explorer, we get both our own message, that we our own call to action, and the page loads up in the background and you'll see that it loads up you know fully it's not kind of dimmed at all like it is in firefox so different browsers handle it differently don't worry about that um, it is an extremely effective method especially if you've got a lot of traffic going to say a sales page like this one i built a list of uh something somewhere approaching 500 people uh in about three weeks just from exit uh this exit pop that you see now so with uh, that being said, let's go and have a look at the software and show you... Oh, hang on a minute. I better get out of these pages. It's asking me to, to, to leave or to stay. So let's bring up the software and show you how to, how to do it. And it's really, really simple. It's like three clicks. First of all, well, you get little tool tips down here as well if you're stuck. I just want to say, first of all, that your software may not look exactly the same as this, but it will do exactly the same thing, okay? So, first thing is that you can create that first message, okay? The first part of that call to action. Okay, you can leave this in, this, this is the default one, or you can make up your own if you want to, okay? Click Next. And then again, we've got a default message, and this is about a freebie. Don't leave empty-handed. I have a call freebie for you click to stay on the page okay now if yours isn't a freebie if it's a paid offer or whatever you can change this you can just go in here and, and type what you want okay uh, or you can leave the one that's in there okay so you can just say I, I have um, instead of a cool freebie something cool for you okay so you do do whatever you want there okay so then you click next oh one thing before I go any further avoid using quotation marks if you put um, some quotation marks in and what I mean by that is like this it's gonna mess it up so it, it, this, the code won't work because it gets confused okay so don't put quotation marks in right so um, that's done now we move on and it's gonna ask us for the link where we want people to go to if they stay on the page this is the thing that's going to load up in the back of, of Internet Explorer and Firefox as well. So for this example, I'm just going to put my blog in there um, just for uh, speed and sake of argument. And then that's it. We're done. It'll ask us now. We're going to create it. It'll ask us where we want to put it. So I've put a folder together on the desktop here. Um, I don't think I named it, I think it's just new folder, there it is. And I'm going to put it in there, click on there, click OK. 
and it's done. It comes up with some instructions just to help you out if you don't know what to do next, but um, no need to, uh, to worry about that because I'm showing you. Okay, so if we go into here now, what it's done is it's created this code for us, and it looks all very complicated. So, but don't worry about it. You don't really need to do anything with it. All you need to do is to right click and select all, so it's all highlighted. Right click again and click copy. Okay, and we're done with it. What we need to do now, this is the page I made. I made a very, very simple HTML page. Okay, which uh, so we can I can show you where to put this code. So if we open that with Notepad, I tend to use this one, Notepad plus plus. It's completely free. If you Google it, you'll be able to download it. It's like Notepad, but you'll see it's got lots of colors in it, and it's just easier to spot where code is and everything. So I tend to use this rather than Notepad for this kind of job. But you can use Notepad if you want to. Right, so what we need to do is we need, your, your page would probably be a lot more than this. I've just made something very simple to demonstrate. But right down at the bottom of your HTML page, you'll have this. And it's called the closing body tag. And it's one of these little tag symbols at each end of it with a forward slash and body. Now what we need to do, what I'm going to do actually is make a new line there. And immediately before this closing body tag, we're going to paste in that code that we've just copied. Okay, there we are. And job done. We save it and it's good to go. All we'd need to do now is to upload that page to our hosting account, wherever you, you have that, that, that sales page or that, or that page, okay? So just to see how this works, I'm going to open it with, um, let's open it with Firefox. And you can see, I told you there wasn't much on it, didn't I? And if we try and close out of this, we get that um, default message from Firefox and you see my blog loading in the background, okay? Um, we can open it up with um, Chrome. In fact, I only need to double click it to open it in Chrome because there we go. And if I close it, you'll see that we'll get the message that we then. They so I have something cool for you. I did change it. So there we are. Job done. It's as simple as that. All that you need to do now is upload that page via FTP or cPanel to your hosting account. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you get a load of extra subscribers and leads by using this little piece of software. Bye for now.